Mirror, mirror on the door. What am I looking into you for? Hi, I'm Patrick Bill, and welcome back to Retro HGV Training Series. The video is designed to help you pass your HGV test and to become a better lorry driver. In this episode, I'd like to explain to you what the mirrors are for and why are you looking into them when driving HGVs. Is so many of these mirrors, they are here to basically eliminate the blind spots, but they don't eliminate this completely. And when driving along, you are looking into the mirrors to see the position of the truck, to see what's behind you. And in this video, I'd like to explain this to you. When, as we're driving along, I will show you how you should be looking in the mirror, what you're looking for, and when so to look I've for. been teaching people for almost 20 years now and I'm so sure about my techniques and training that I'm offering now pass guarantee. You can find the contact to me in the description of this video. Now let me take you on the road. Let's go. The mirrors. So as you know there is a white angle mirrors and the normal glass. So the First of all, I'll explain to you why we're looking in a wide angle mirror from time to time. So, for example, now you can see we're turning around at this roundabout, all, all the way around. At some point, you might lose the trailer in the bottom mirror. That's when you start looking in the top mirror, especially on the sharp corners or the sharp bends. Now, driving on a single carriageway and again checking your mirror so important here is and the reason for that is that you're looking for what's behind you so for example if you can see the car sitting just on your tail and trying to go that's very important and sometimes when you look in a right hand mirror you might not see it so that's why you're checking it to the left hand mirror. Another reason for checking the mirrors on this kind of road is to see how your position is on this on this road. So very important to on this road to not be in the middle of that lane there because um, you want to leave space for other vehicles to be able to overtake you. So you need to stay about a meter I would say from the near side lane, uh, line. So, without checking the mirrors, you won't be able to judge that. So again, this is this is why you're checking your mirrors. You've got other mirrors in the truck. There is a curved mirror in this cab. There is a curved mirror, uh, and you can see by the passenger side if you're coming very close to the curve. So that's again very important. And also you've got the mirror in front of the cab that shows you how close you come in because again from because of the blind spot which is just in front of the cab. When we get to the next roundabout we're gonna be turning right fair the exit and I will show you again the good mirror observation. So we are coming to this roundabout. Check the mirrors again, indicating right. So why I check the mirrors? I've checked the mirrors to see if nothing is really close to us, if nothing is next to us. And also, if you check your mirrors, you might be able to see, let's say, motorbike. So if you saw the motorbike and you stop at the roundabout, you might be expecting that the motorbike uh, will be trying to go around you, filter through the traffic. And again, checking the mirrors just after, after you leave the roundabout. At the roundabout, when you're going around, you checking those mirrors again all the time. So right hand mirror and then before you leave 
the left hand mirror because that's when you're going you're going to the left and again we've got the traffic lights so you're checking the mirrors to see what's behind you it's very important second when I'm going around that bend that you will lose the trailer at some point in the bottom mirror and then it's good to look in the top mirror because it's a wide angle mirror gives you a little bit wider picture it makes everything look further away but you can actually see and I'm gonna take this chance they flash the lights so go in and going to the left nice blockers off we go and keep on checking the left hand mirror because the trailer is coming close to the curb and again checking the mirrors because we've got pedestrian crossings and the mirror as well very busy town center Positions on the road. 
going around you, any motorbikes, any small cars trying to squeeze or anything like that. Now, at some point, we will lose that trailer. Losing the trailer because the bend is so, so sharp in the bottom mirror, then remember to look in the top mirror. We just, we, we see, it was just, we could see it. It's normally the other way when, when you can't see it. And again, checking your mirrors, checking for the pedestrians or cyclists, and off we go. And check your mirrors again. Again, nothing is true. Trying to filter through and go in front of us. So we've got another mini roundabout coming. We check the mirrors. These mirrors are for position for any hazards behind you. But if there is any hazards in front of you, then you have to check it as well. again just to see nothing no one is running to the crossing you could see them in the mirror hopefully if it's not in the blind spot <laughs> okay next mini roundabout we're gonna be turning left as I'm saying, we're going to be going to the left, so checking right and left hand mirror, indicating left, and now, as I'm saying, if you lose the trailer in the bottom mirror, then you start looking in the top mirror in this truck. Some trucks have it opposite, so they've got wide angle at the bottom. I'm looking for my position because I want to just go through this chicane nicely. It's quite tight, so checking both mirrors all the time. And speed limit changes, checking my mirrors again. So what are you looking for in the mirrors when turning? When turning into sharp corners, you're looking for the trailer wheels. So I know you won't see the trailer wheels when you're in a straight line, you are not able to see it. But then when you start turning, you can just about to see the wheels. So if you think this is too early, you've got to straighten up and go again a little bit further. So this is this is how you have to judge this. Again, checking the mirrors because of the pedestrians, this kid on a scooter. And when we go, as we're going along, we've got a large van, so we're checking the mirror on the right. Junction, checking the mirrors. Right, you're checking the mirror to 
should write for if anyone is not overtaking you and when you're going back you're checking if the let's say like this van here if it didn't start going have to indicate when you're going back up to the parked vehicles. Okay, so that's for the mirrors. Did you enjoy it? Please press like if you did. Share, comment, and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel. So until the next time, drive safe.